There's one. Okay, I think I got it. It's doggone hydraulic one right here. It's not routed very good. It's kind of in the way. If you don't have to be outside right now and you're anywhere in the southeastern united states um don't be outside don't be an idiot like me uh stay in school kids oh drop the other gopro stay in school uh even though i i go out here and i work in this heat and i jerk these joysticks and these machines all day i have a master's degree there's about 900 other things i could be doing right now uh, other than baking out here in the heat and dealing with all the stuff I have to deal with but I love what I do and uh, You know, it's fun to overcome challenges sometimes so um, It's still not as bad as being at Fort Jackson I, I did basic combat training at Fort Jackson in Columbia, South Carolina all of June and all of July I left there early August and uh, at least I'm not wearing full fatigues with body armor and a rucksack on my back and carrying an M16, so. <laughs> All right, we are back out on a familiar little pond. I uh, got some bad news back today. So this U55 back here is not mine. I am renting it from a client. And uh, uh, that's his brush cutter as well. He has the same XC5 brush cutter, MTL brush cutter that I have. He liked my whole setup so much he went and bought one himself, which he was like, hey, if you ever need to rent mine, give me a holler. And so, uh, uh, the mechanic mechanic Greg called me today from Dobbs and uh, we got to put a whole new AC system in my u55 Compressor Evaporator or whatever uh, the whole thing's got to be redone So 10 year old machine, I guess that just happens. So it's a 2014. It's 2024 You know it lasted 10 years. I can't complain um, That's the first real issue I've had out of that machine to tell you this so, since I've had it uh, since 2020 I've had it almost four years now, so all right, let's take a look at the job and uh, hopefully this won't take too long and we'll get to crack a lacken. Okay, so we are back out here on this uh, little retention pond. Uh, first time I ever did this, I called this the gator pond uh, because there was a little alligator in here. He was a little guy, but he was in here. I was like, how in the world did you get in this pond? Um, but somehow he found this pond, but uh, that was two years ago, I think, maybe three. I haven't seen him since. But uh, we got to get this pond mowed down. You can see it's just a bunch of little gums and whatever this crap is or whatever. And then uh, on Sunday, takes Friday, day after 4th of July, I got to come back with the skid steer and get all of this mowed here, all of that back there. And then there's two lots over there that I got to get mowed as well. Those aren't too bad. You can, I think I can mow that with the zero turn, but this is all going to need the skid steer. Um, and I got something really cool to show y'all uh, when we come do this. So stay tuned for that video. You guys are going to love it, I think. So um, got the uh, U55. Um, I've usually done this with the mulcher, but I'm going to do this with the brush cutter because so you didn't see the last video. Those hookups right there on his like mine come down to like right here. His are way up there. So my mulcher with the hydraulic lines, the way they're run does not work on this machine. So I have to get new lines routed up and I'm probably gonna have to do that for some projects I've got coming up. So I'm not gonna get the machine, my U55 back probably till the end of next week. It's probably like a week. So this is what we gotta do. So we'll knock this out really quick. Shouldn't take, but uh, I don't know, two, three hours. We'll knock this out and uh, get it done. See what it looks like. So let's get started. Y'all look, that alligator, he's still in here. There he is, right out there. And I could, he has gotten a lot bigger since the last time I saw him. He's easily three feet now. I don't know if you guys can see that out there in the water. I'll try to zoom it in uh, when I get the, uh, the footage back on the computer. But uh, yeah, he's right out there in the middle of the water watching me. Yeah, there he's coming up now. There he goes. 
he's easily close to three feet you gotten bigger little guy when the last time i saw you you were just a little guy you know, this 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 is your pond now is what it looks like you done found you a little honey hole and you ain't leaving hopefully we can keep the gopro going today it is hot out here and when it gets really hot this gopro tends to overheat and shut off so hopefully we can keep this thing going
just swarming around and my GoPro is right there so uh, I don't know I'm afraid if I step out of this cab they are not going to like me very much uh, so maybe they'll just figure out they don't have a home anymore and they'll piss off I don't know I guess we'll find out Get in here, guys. We pissed off the wasps. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, we pissed off the wasps, some fears. And uh, I guess they're still trying to swarm this machine a little bit. They're kind of half of them are trying to swarm the machine, and the other half are like, what the hell just happened to our house? Thank goodness I was not in my mini excavator that has no air conditioning because I would have had the door open, I'd have had all the doors and windows open and uh, I, you'd have seen me run out of this machine so damn fast. Oh my gosh. Woo.
this job is done or at least this part of it we're good oh go away mr wasp ah! no oh huh. they still haven't left i'm not trying to get stung today but at least this part of this job is done we'll be back on sunday to mow i'm gonna go do another mowing job down in the city tomorrow um so that'll be fun you guys are gonna get to check out something pretty cool uh tomorrow saturday and sunday something i recently got that you guys have not even seen yet i've had it for about two months i haven't had a chance to use it yet so we're gonna bust her out get her hooked up but uh big shout out to my client robert for letting me rent this machine and get this taken care of today i really appreciate it machine worked great ac worked great and uh yeah we had a uh good day we did not get uh stung by any wasps and uh, we didn't mess with the alligator so i gotta stand that uh little thing that post back up really quick uh there were some wasps over there and kind of flying around it i accidentally knocked over trying to get the gopro after the wasps were swarming around and didn't even see it but it's just a it's just one of those things that just says there's a water main thing there it's just a concrete pillar to say don't dig here because there's a water main so i'll stand that back up no big deal no harm no foul so sorry i was dealing with a lot when <laughs> when that happened and uh, i backed right over it didn't even did i was trying to get to the gopro so i could snatch it and get you guys back into the cab so i could drop walk down here and get it set back up so uh what can you do things happen so but yeah that turned out well really happy with that and uh that'll work so i'm gonna uh load this bad boy up and we're gonna get out of here so i'll catch you guys on the next one bye everybody